Okay, so this is Patrick Chanezon from the Gwit and App Engine team and uh, today we are at South by Southwest. Lots of people going everywhere to uh, panels and all that. And yesterday at the Google Hackathon at South by Southwest, I met with uh, Matthias Buschner uh, from Gemalto, uh, who has a very interesting use case for uh, GWT and he's going to tell us about it. And uh, one of the things that you'll notice in this interview is that I have a very strong French accent and so does it. So does I it. I have the same thing. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so Matthias, uh, so tell us about your company and your app. Uh, so I'm Matthias Bichner and I'm working for Gemalto in Austin, Texas. Uh, my company is uh, manufacturing smart cards. So the best way to show you what a smart card is, is for instance, is, is a SIM card at the back of uh, your phone. Uh, it can be also a credit card, uh, it can be the chip inside the passport, uh, it can be uh, badges uh, like this one. So this is my corporate badge that I use to uh, get into my building or sign my emails. Uh, so what I really like about my company is that uh, we're really focusing on innovation and creativity. And uh, I love also that we have a very good uh, international uh, mobility policy. And uh, I worked four years for the company and I already uh, moved three times. Yeah, three times. <laughs> so um, it's very challenging and fun. Cool. So uh, I'm going to uh, introduce you to a uh, few uh, products that we have that are using uh, Google technology. Um, so what my team does is uh, developing web application uh, for smart cards. The problem we have is that browsers by default uh, don't support uh, communication to smart cards. So we have an awesome team in our company that develop uh, a browser extension for each browser and OS that wrap the drivers that you already have uh, on your computer to uh, communicate, communicate with smart cards and expose a JavaScript API to uh, the browser, to the page. So that allows us to um, have web application communicating directly to the smart card. So, 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 so what would you use that web application for? These web applications are used, uh, I mean... Is it to upload system. applications to the smart card? Because I, I understand that these smart cards, uh, uh, there's a, a Java standard for that, where you can create Java applications that run on the card. So you can use this uh, browser extension to load application on it. Uh, the application can be Java application or .NET as uh, You can use uh, this browser extension to uh, do whatever you need to do with a smart card, which is authenticate on the website uh, using two-factor authentication, as I'm going to show you uh, later. Uh, uh, you can use uh, this border extension to uh, personalize the card, uh, you know, define the settings uh, of all the applications that you are embedding in the chip. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to show you a, a simple uh, application uh, using this S-Connect extension. Um, Basically, it's uh, used for two-factor authentication. So, yeah. So I'm going to move next to your browser. So next for that, computer. I'm gonna use uh, my badge and I'm gonna insert it in the smart card reader. So this badge has an uh, OTP capability, which is one-time uh, password. Okay. And uh, so it allows uh, the user to uh, do two-factor authentication. So it's really simple. Uh, the JavaScript uh, that I embed in this page uh, displays this get OTP button. And when I click on it, it actually sends a call to the browser extension. The browser extension will uh, pass the request to the smart card, and the smart card just retrieves the one time password and writes it in the text box. So after, uh, in a real use case, I will enter my user ID and password to do two-factor authentication. So it's, it's a really uh, simple use case, but actually it's not that easy to implement because uh, there's a lot of complexity in the code because you need to support Java cards and Donut cards and many different cards. So uh, it's 
more complex than it looks. Uh, so I wrote that few years ago in native JavaScript, and uh, I felt like uh, if we had something more complex uh, to design, it would be uh, very uh, cumbersome to use this uh, technology, I mean native JavaScript, because it's very difficult to unit test, and there, is, there are a lot of browser uh, compatibility issues. So at that time, GBOT was not ready, and now it is. And uh, when our marketing department came with some more complex use cases, I, I mean, the whole team knew that uh, GBOT was the right way to go. Cool. So I can show you uh, um, an application that is more complex and that is also using the same browser extension. But this time, we are using GBOT. Uh, so we are coding the application in Java, and GBT will compile uh, the code in JavaScript. So, uh, so how do you interact with uh, your smart card API that's implemented by the browser extension? Did you build a, a GWT SDK for your yes, so API? Um, so as we are coding in Java, uh, and the browser extension originally just proposed a, a JavaScript API, uh, we actually just fill the gap by implementing a, a, a GBT SDK for this browser extension. Great. And now it's it's actually really uh, easy to use. Great. So uh, I'm gonna remove this guy. Okay. So here uh, it's an application to personalize user card. So I have an admin administrator card that I'm gonna insert. Okay. And the browser extension detects the insertion of the card and detects that it's a card from an administrator and display uh, a text box as asking for the PIN to log in the website. So I'm going to enter the PIN and I'm going to log in the website. So I have uh, a few features to show, but I'm going to show this one, which is the, the personalization of a user device. So. Basically, uh, when, when a small uh, uh, corporation wants to uh, uh, buy some cards and, uh, and, and personalize it, it uh, is the best way to do it. I mean, it's, it's manual. If you are uh, a, a bigger corporation and you buy, let's say, 500,000 cards, then Gemalto will take care of personalizing and doing all this job in a factor. But if you are, if are buying a smaller amount of cards, then it is a cheaper solution. So, here is basically what you can do. You can personalize the pin, the default pin for the user. You can define the max, uh, maximum attempts. So here it's five, which means that um, if the user enters five wrong pins, the card will be blocked after the five attempts. You have few settings like uh, what we have here is to prevent the user from uh, setting his pin to something really easy to guess, like one, 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 one or one, two, yeah. three, four. <laughs> or Toto, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, you have some features, you can enable, enable some uh, single sign on features. And here, what we have is uh, the biomatch. So, the biomatch is an application you can load in the user card, so the user can actually use its fingerprint by just Swiping the sensor here to authenticate. Wow! So uh, basically, um, as you can see, this form is actually much more complex than the previous example. Uh, so where GBT comes in handy is uh, for the unit test. We have hundreds of unit tests to test that, and uh, for us, it's a great advantage because. Uh, we will spend a lot less time to do manual validation when we'll have to read the product. And I think we will all feel a lot more confident when it's released. So, so, so what you tell me that you have a full suite of uh, uh, JUnit tests that are running uh, on the GWC app uh, when you build it? Well, so compared to the... To the when you design a, a JavaScript application, it's not that easy to uh, have a nice design. When you develop in Java, you have all these best practice, uh, best practices that are already there, and you just have to follow them. So, uh, 
Yes, developing in Java will allow you to have a nicer design, uh, have packages and layers that you can unit test separately, and this is why we are using GWT. That's great. Uh, so, our customers for uh, this application are, um, you know, have different needs. Some of them want to uh, host the website themselves in their in inter internal network because they are dealing with sensitive data and they don't want anything to go outside their network. Some customers don't want to uh, have the hassle of or spend the money of managing a, a web server, so they prefer Gmail to, to host these websites. And, and now with GWT and uh, HTML5, we have a new option which is to go completely offline. Wow! So our application now is just HTML, the deliverable is just HTML and JavaScript. So we can just zip the, the deliverable, send it to the customer, and it will be exactly the same. So basically now we have a desktop application and a web application and it's exactly the same source code. So that's really good. <laughs> that's a great use case. Actually, I think that's the first time I hear about uh, such a use case for GWT for building a web app plus desktop apps at the same time. Well, yeah, I, I, I also never heard of that before, but yeah, it's, it's very easy to, uh, for what, it's very convenient for what you want to do. And so what that means is that for a small company that don't have their own server, they don't want that to be hosted on your site, uh, you would just ship them a zip file with all the web app in there yes. and they would launch it on a yes. uh, local file system. Well, there would be another option that is there is a website and, yep. uh, that they can go on. The first time they go, the application is loaded and you can uh, save it and you don't have to go online anymore unless to check if there is a new version. And, uh, and you can, so it's in the middle, it's the middle. So, um, great. Well. Uh, what, what kind of, um, so what are the features of GWT overall that you like best? Um, well, you, you know, that there are so many libraries and, 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 uh, and stuff out there for GWT. I mean, it's, I don't have like a favorite thing in there. My favorite part of GBT is that it's open. So uh, for instance, for the UI, for the user interface, we are using uh, GXT, yeah. which is uh, an library built on top of GWT. And we are using the presenter library, we are using many different libraries, and this is the beauty of this design. That's great. Are you using any HTML5 features in the offline version? Uh, we are going to. <laughs> Great. It's on a, we are still developing it, but yeah, we are going to. Excellent. That's a great use case. Thanks very much, Matthias. Do you, you have any uh, word uh, at the end? Uh, well, uh, thank you for watching. And if you want to uh, have some more information about my company, you can go on our website, gemalto.com, and just ask gemalto.com. Thank cool. you. Cool. Thanks very much, Matthias.